and ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel this is your boy fly island guy today we are back in memmingen germany today and uh we're gonna be taking some uh adventure tourists or adventure groups uh up to Muritz air park which is look this up so Muritz air park is an airfield in Mecklenburg, Germany. So it's up in the kind of northern part of Germany. Uh, it's sort of. I'll have to look at the map. Bring a map up. Uh, it is. So, Recklin Lars Airfield. That's another name for it. Yeah, so it's in northern Germany. It's east of Hamburg and uh, just a little further north of Berlin. So, the interesting thing right now is this is an uncontrolled uh, airport. So, um, in Navigraph right now, pretty much have no information on it. Let me show you. So normally there's a little option here. We can look at charts. Uh, so right now there are no charts for this airport. So we're going to be fly flying in sort of blind in a sense. Um, so I'm just going to be checking out the weather now just to see if everything is good to go as far as that's concerned. Um, I'm going to have to plan my descent to get there. And um, I'm just going to have to play it by ear and we get in. I've had to do this before, uh, but that was in the King Air, <laughs> so that made things a little easier. Not that this aircraft is that much more difficult to fly, but uh, yeah, it's going to make things a little tough. Our flight time today is about one hour, uh, about an hour and 20 minutes all together. Just here checking out the weather before we go, just to see if we're going to have any uh, weirdness going on. And it does look like there is a little bit of uh, rain kind of hovering over that, that northern part of Germany a little bit. So, yeah. We'll see if that affects anything. Um, it's kind of a band of rain that's, or a band of cloud cover and rain that's moving like right across uh, from Hamburg uh, all the way over to Berlin. So I think we might be good to go uh, as far as where our location is, but uh, we shall see. Anyways, we're gonna go and get the aircraft started up now. Uh, gonna get my beacons on. And we're gonna get the right engine started. In fact, let's just do both engines. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but <laughs> I just want to kind of get it out the way. Your fleet will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. And once they're steady out, we'll get the the rest of the uh, rest of the aircraft sorted out. We'll be departing runway two four here in Memmingen. So I'm just gonna pull up the map here while we're waiting. Gonna restart Navigraph really quickly. Just having a couple of issues connecting uh, Navigraph to the sim. Which 
normally means I kind of have to restart the service. Okay. Alright, just give me one second, folks. So, Navigraph, Simlink. Normally once Simlink is started, that, uh, there we go, good to go. All right. So my apologies for the delay here. All right. So runway 24 is gonna be off to our right. Let's get the avionics fully on. Flight director, boom. Flying fairly low again today, 30,000 feet. It's not really uh, too high. It's a lot lower than what we're used to. And we're gonna go ahead and brief the passengers and start taxiing for the runway. attached to the vest. 
for information on the location and use of fire extinguishers, as well as other emergency or survival equipment. Refer to your passenger briefing card or consult your flight crew. Thank you, and have a pleasant flight. So it's not very often that we get to hear the whole, <laughs> the whole passenger briefing, but that's how long this taxi has been. Just in time, though, we're about to take off. Since we only have like six passengers today, uh, we're not too too heavy. So our rotate speed is 97 knots. And rotate. Gear up. In a very sepia colored morning <laughs> here in Memmingen. I'm gonna engage the autopilot. Let's do a heading hole for now. Go ahead and go into nav mode. All right, like a true champ that the CJ4 is, we are up and over the clouds in the flash, and things are looking much, much better up here. Just enjoying a little bit of cloud surfing. It's not gonna be much. <laughs> Got some good screenshots for above 10,000 feet. So, landing lights can come off. And I always forget to set our altimeter, which should be at 299 or 2 now anyway. That should be the first thing that I do once I'm getting started. We're going to hit our cruise altitude extremely quickly. Uh, we're about halfway there already. So, while we're climbing, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start calculating our descent. So, we're going to go to the legs page and... You have to get down to 2,000 feet 
from 30,000. And I'm just going to see what's the best point for us to, to do that. So let's start from uh, 80 nautical miles out. And uh, we'll descend at about, uh, let's say, 200 knots. This is very rough calculations here. So we'll be doing about 1,600 feet per minute. Guess that'll be all right. Yeah. Um, we could probably bump it back to 75. Since it's 35.2 nautical miles to RX07. Uh, pick this page. So, once we're heading towards RAPMO, once we have 40 nautical miles left. That's when we'll start our start our descent. Okay, that works for me. So essentially, what that's going to do is uh, that's going to put us right at right at five nautical miles from the runway. Um, so once we complete the descent, we're pretty much going to be going straight into landing. So we'll have to make sure we're fully configured and when we're all the way down. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are well into our descent uh, to towards Merritt's Air Park. Unfortunately, I've been trying to get some information on the weather, weather there at the moment. Um, I can kind of get a bit of information on like the wind, well, the, the wind direction. Um, that's about it though. So I don't know, I don't really know anything else <laughs> what's going on there. Uh, I don't think there's much rain, but could be wrong. Um, and I don't really know what's happening in terms of the the uh, altimeter settings and nothing like that so yeah it's making things a little weird uh, but we'll see how it turns out um, I've calculated I've calculated the descent uh, to the point where whew, really far out of, out of here Sorry, I'll just adjust my vertical speed a little bit. Oh, never mind. The uh, VNAV's taken over. I'm just going to try and slow my descent just a bit. Yeah, there's not, not much else I can do at this point. Um, just going to have to wing it kind of once we get through the clouds and we get down low enough to actually see what's happening. We're supposed to be landing on runway 7, which should be a... which should have us uh, kind of going a little right of the, of the direction that we're heading right now. just gonna go ahead and go flaps 15 early just so we can kind of keep track of or keep it a handle on the airspeed uh, landing lights are on and I will also alert the passengers that we're about to land
Please turn off all portable electronic devices, snow tables, secure luggage, and loose articles. Return your seat to the upright and outboard position. Extend your headrest and fasten your lap belt and shoulder harness. After landing, please remain in your seat with your lap belt and shoulder harness securely fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop in the parking lot. Thank you. All right. So I just want to see how far we are from All right, seven. We're 20 nautical miles out. We're at uh, just over 7,000 feet. And mm, this is going to be a close one, folks. So I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled uh, once we get out the clouds. Hopefully we can get out the clouds fairly quickly. Let's keep my ear brakes up for a while until we slow down a little bit more. Clouds do not look the best over here. This is not a good cloud day. <laughs> so we're going to have to get things set up very, very quickly. Once we hit the correct altitude. But we're at... Almost 6,000 feet. Now, we still haven't really broken through the clouds yet. Or we haven't even really started to break through the clouds yet. That can't be a good sign. Weather radar is not showing anything red at the moment. And it looks like we got uh, some clear, some, some clear uh, areas straight ahead. And once we get past this little area here. So hopefully we'll be all right to go in visual. But in Europe at this time of the year, uh, relying on visual is not what I want to be doing. Forumindy.com used to be able to see the um, altimeter settings, but I'm not seeing that right now. Are you serious? Rain? Oh, Lord. Well, just stop being fun, folks. <laughs> So what we're heading to right now is that's going to be the last turn before the before we do our approach. Was well, this the uh, last waypoint before we do our approach? So and we are still hovering above <laughs> above the clouds. That is really not a good sign at all. I'm seeing something below us. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear.
but it's still my ear breaks up. So you kind of need that information to do an approach or to get your approach speeds, but I'm just going to wing it. Um, most of the time your approach speeds are it's around like 110 knots. So I'm just going to aim for 110, 120 and uh, hope that's enough. Altitude. All right, because we're having some pre precipitation as well, I'm um, going to get our anti ice on. So we are thick in the clouds right now. And uh, things aren't looking too good below us. So. Oh, there we go. So what I might try and do is, when we turn, uh, which is now, I'm going to try and get lower than the, than the ceiling so we can see the airport and uh, see if we can land all right. All right. So we straighten out. Oh, shoot. Very slow. Right. Autopilot. Autopilot on. All right, need to get down a little lower. Is that the runway right, right in front of us? I think it is. All right. Let's see what we can do, folks. Ceiling is super low. Wind 280 at 21 knots. So of course you wouldn't do this normally in real life. Five hundred. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see how this works out. Slightly. There we go. So we're doing a very flat approach. Yeah. 
stiff headband as well. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Miritz Air Park. Oof. I think we're kind of lucky that the weather was what it was <laughs> and not any worse. Airport. This is actually supposed to be a third party scenery, believe it or not. So let's see what's over this <laughs> over this rise here. I'm scared. I don't know about anybody else. Turns out not much. Not too sure if this is parking here or I don't even know what those are. Let's go further back this way and see what's there. So I'm not too sure. There's not really a map here of the airport, so I have no idea where I'm actually parking anything. Maybe it's on the other side there. No idea. Alright, so we're going to go flaps up. Flight director can come off. All our de-icing can come off as well. Alright, yeah. Looks like we're at the right spot. Too. Today is a good day. Time locked. Fliegt is finished. 
It has been monitored by on air. Well, there we go, folks. <laughs> Spoilers are still up and everything. I forgot to drop them. Hope you guys enjoyed this flight in the Tempest Fugit, Fugit livery once again. We got down here in one piece, and as I said, I really need to research these airports before I fly to them, because I had a known that this wasn't a monitored airport. I would not have flown here, but really enough, I mean, it's big enough airport, but still, anyway. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, new videos coming out every few days. Uh, looking forward to seeing your comments. And yeah, that's about it. Stay safe, and most of all, stay fly. I'm out. Peace.